And you shall all attract them coming in to win the With all the men. With, you couldn't even know the people in them. They burn stuff in them. So, and they used to go to land men. They cut off all the flowers off of the trees in them. The, 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 the shot chop trees. And the load all the tractors went up there. And all the men used to go up there with their rum, with their food, and they enjoy themselves on land. My dear comrades, I have listened to you. Because, as I always tell you, the seed I hold is not mine. I hold it on behalf of you. You sent me to sit down in the seat. I can't go in the seat to sit down myself. Amba, keep quiet. Amba, just, just keep quiet. I, I want to tell you, I have listened to you. And you want to make sure Langbe remain Langbe that you're accustomed to. You know how Langbe is dear to Wilkie's people's heart? And let me tell them young people in Wilkie tonight. 1975, Wilkie's had it hard. The young people had no work. I used to smoke cigarettes. And when you smoke one cigarette, you had to take a pull and pass it around. We went to Langby every day. I used to work. And every day, all the young men and villages used to go to Langby, shoot fish, come on the beach and cook. And that was the meal them young men and women kids had for the day. Because no work was there. That was on the PLM. Aye, aye, aye. And I will always remember this until I die. Drake was up there. Drake used to be up there too. And when we when they're cooking up there, Drake always say, every day the cook and we get the fish. Drake would never eat a uh, chop fish. And I remember the day the water was rolling. And when the guys and they went over, they came back in with the fish. All chop. No other fish they could get but the chop. And when Jake said, nothing there for me to eat, but he said, but hungry, you can kill me up. Me have a drive and you have the chop today. And a then jerk started now. I nod my head. And my dear comrades, I will carry that to the grave. That feeling meant for a man who never eat chub fish. Don't like it. He nyam him and he had to eat it because there was nothing else to do. But you know what I want to do with our lambe? Let me, let me pass it this first and foremost. I have no problem with the development of pineapple. Have none. If pineapple want to put 5,000 rooms up there, put the 5,000. If they want to put 400 rooms, put the 400 rooms. Put it on the land you own. It's 27.6 acres of land you own. Put the room on the land you own. It's one of the few hotels, if it's not the only hotel in Antigua, pineapple, with a swimming pool and to the beach, a restaurant and to the beach, up the dining room and to the beach. When you compare that with Royal, you saw where they cut out the hill, and Bill Royal, and Royal Beach is half the beach. Of what pineapple have? Half! And why I have over 300 rooms down there? The vendors! I say you all no look ugly. But you all don't like advantage. 
Defendants used me and the sun trying to make a living. They had little tents. And the same Minister of Tourism, Dan Howell Lovell, went to them, got an architect, and designed buildings for them. And Lovell told them, DCA will watch them that they build properly. And those vendors, they spent some of them over fifty, sixty thousand dollars to build them little huts up there. That way they bend it. And he chose the spot and put them there. How come love no want them to move and go away? What they for do? They have their family to feed. I remembered when the previous owner for pineapple was there. They used to have one or two days that the vendors would go right in the hotel and the dance floor and put out whatever they're selling so the tourists will see, look, buy. And we're saying to you tonight, it's a matter for you. What I'm doing is because I hear what you say to be done. When you look, and let me put everything on the table, you all know how good me and Rob Barrett is. When Rob Barrett was going to build those new rooms at the eastern end there next to the vendors, Rob Barrett said to me he wanted 50 feet go east by near to where the vendors are right now. I tell him you can't even get 50 centimeters. That are for our way. For a wash out, kidding. Her. And I say, turn you over them, you see, now that's so. He can't go there. We are not against development. But I, as your representative, cannot sacrifice your comfort, your quality of life. For what? Are the profits staying in Antigua? When they make all the money from up there, are they coming to share it among the Willikis people? No. So if you give a job, we are grateful, we are thankful, but we exert our labor, you pay us for what we, what we do, and what you make are for you. Therefore, them vendors, they must make and we see a young man from Willikis with his partner put up Mama Pasta popular place the tourists like it etc etc do you know what they say? they want to break down Mama Pasta place break them down and don't compensate that's the love they have for Willikis people man and I am saying to you all you have to stand up in what you believe in. Yeah. You tell me make Lambert tap them, make me tap them till you, if and when, that you change your mind. Let me tell you all this too. Listen to me, Ayla. You can talk to that later. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Let me put this straight now. You know, you know one of the happiest thing that I have since you asked me to be your representative. You see, going in by rooms, not me in the rooms, but the goat and the donkey and them just one day. The people with labor look at the investment with these people have going into land. Millions of dollars. You go over at Cali, millions of dollars. Look at the quality of houses. Look at the quality of houses here. Apartments right in front of your eyes. And you see white people and so rent them, etc. Look at the houses we have. 
I am saying to you, your children must not be the hewers of wood and the carriers of water all the days of their lives. The only resource that can make you make a dollar is beach. We don't have another good beach like Lambe anywhere in the constituency. If Lambe gone, we have to go to Jabberwaka for James or somewhere down there until UPP take them away from us. And the investment, all them young people, they're going to build houses, they're going to build apartments, and you can't build to get the right price a night for your house and your room or whatever it is. Every day, they want to go on a beach. Where must they go? It's Long Bay. Why you think Veranda Estates Bill is for Long Bay that they go to bed? Yeah. Why you think Diane Bay Bill is for Long Bay they used to go? Why you think that our people have apartments in the east and have houses up there? Going into the room. When they rent them, when our Antiguans overseas come back here, where they go? They like to go to Lambe every day. You see a development over there? Peninsula. Where they go to bed in the day to enjoy their lives? Lambe. People of St. Philip's North. People of Winnikis. If you want to get ready, only molasses tank to attract the fly, that is a matter for you. Another thing, you all must remember when Veranda was going to be built. You all remember that? You all remembered some of the people that live on Diane Bay and some other people didn't want to hear no hotel built down there, etc. What's the reason? They had no reason. But what we had done. We had a meeting at Wilkie School and everything was put before you. You all remember that? And you, the people, agreed it should go. But now, they don't want consultation with the people. They don't even want to consult with your representative. Today, in Parliament, love you tell me, you change your mind yet? For make I get long, I say, is that my mind? It's the people's mind working through me. And them say no to long. Oh, we're gonna, we gonna bulldoze them, everybody. We're gonna clean up everything going there, etc. I tell him, I told him today, and if I'm wrong, you can tell me I'm wrong. I tell him, Lovell, you don't know who it is. At this road in. This road in and this road out. And I, I didn't get a chance to tell him. But you all remember, you younger ones, when the PLM were in the heyday, you all remember that they come up here and they used to run rough shadow over all of us up here. The late Federica, I land them so everybody up there. You remember they start one something up there and they touch everybody? Y'all remember what happened? Y'all remember what happened? I mean, I have to tell you what happened. Can't, can't remember. <laughs> they came up with six nice cars and they left with two. <laughs> okay? And two not so nice ones. I'm not asking you to get yourself with one. Okay? But. It just give me a little history. The only village in Antigua that that PLM with the same people in there now brought tear gas in Willikis. Y'all remember they brought tear gas in Willikis tonight? Y'all remember all the boys and me put them bucket of water along the roads? And if you all, the older ones, you must tell the young people history, you know. 
the boys and them were able to take out two of the three tear gas. And then it was just to tell about my people. They had two bags of tear gas. The police were left with one. So if there's going to be a trade of tear gas, well, we have two, you have one. I say no more. So I am saying to you, we have got to protect our people. Yes. Lambe is not only for us, it's for all Antiguans and Barbudans. And you want me to tell you something? Wilkes, you all must stand up and be proud. We used to go to Lambe. It's not the first time a hotel up there. But look what we have done. We don't go down where the hotel boundary, even the beach is public. We keep up so. What is ours? We don't bear down there with the guests enough. We allow them to spend the money to come to enjoy. And we leave them enjoy your life. You're bringing in money to the country, which is good. The churches, they go there for picnic. And baptize those, so it's a blessed place up there. In the mornings, all our ladies and our gentlemen, that's where they go to take their exercises. They get about four o'clock, five o'clock, when you take away Lambe. What do you want? <coughs> and let me tell you about Lambe for here now. You know where the roundabout is? You see where the road that goes to Diane Bay is up there? That is where the road going to end. The roundabout go mash up. And they want to give to pineapple right up to where the roundabout is. So everything has a clear off. On the eastern side, by where the lab lolly tree and them there, that is where they want to put them vendors that work up there. Them people, me see my family, Nantan, and I walk up up and I'm every morning. But you leave with you to go for them and go up there. Look so long. I want them to go. Where them for go? Okay. We see all that with Wilkes people and other people vend up there too. Or people exercise. And let me tell you all this. Somebody reminded me that they baptize up there. You know, right now in Wilkes, somebody had stroke overseas and they came back home here. And they go up to Lambay and they dig a hole on the sand part up there, right in front of the barrow by the beach. And that lady sit down, lay down in there. And thank God she can walk and much better right now with that Lambay. And you want to take away that from us? Willikis people, Antiguan people, the Antiguans that live overseas. They will not be pleased if we allow them not to go along and enjoy themselves. So the vendors all over there, they will change the world. The restaurant and everything gone back by the boat fence up there. And you know what they want to leave us with? With those people who vend up there wouldn't have nobody get a road, they were driving nobody. No cruise ship. People gonna go there. Nothing gonna go there. They want to buy out Lambe Beach House. Lambe Beach House can't can't do without Lambe Hotel. A buyer don't buy Lambe Hotel now. And what I'm watching, and I have her uh, hers first and others, is that when they apply for the non-citizens license. I hope they never punish them people and say, we want that, so you can buy that. If not, a more demonstration up there and down down there. And we will ask people to join us, because these are our things. And so my dear comrades, I know you want to be a Western. I want to tell you, I want to tell you, there are all kinds of things in the air. Until you 
when we stand up there, you know something? Even the hotel veranda up there, dear guest, go down there every day. If you go to Lambert, every day you meet antiquans, tourists, everybody up there on the beach. It's a safe beach, it's a friendly beach. And we are custom. We are accustomed to it. We are prepared to share it. I want to thank you for standing up with me. Thank you for supporting me. Thanking you for letting me be who I am. Thank you. And I want to tell you, wherever they say where they want to gerrymander what not so, if they put Willie keep it old road at the mirror. You get the message? Yes. Anyway, Willie keep there. There's going to be a rap in there. Because Willie keep away my bar. Nobody go run me. Okay? So I want to tell you, look around. They, they, they must understand the police station used to be there. And those of you who are too young, you see all them stone me in a police yard? Not one men carried by truck. They told us that when we are going up Ira, we heard that. Not one stone down there full of stone. Not one stone. You see them all the trucks that got stone from there, etc. etc. Et Not one stone men there. And that carried them. That carried them. We know to throw them over. They exercise their hand. Okay? So I am telling you all tonight. Look at us, tourists travel on this road. I have spoken to public works over 50 times. Any repairs done on the road, and we have hotels up there with lots of guests, people going to Long Bay. Nothing has been done. The UPP do not like Wilkins people, St. Philip's not people. Come out of their house. Get back into the house of labor. Yes. Yes. They don't like nothing. Nothing. Name labor. Look what they do. Look what they do. You have your land. We give you land. We made you with land. Gave you a reasonable price. No government land, they want six and seven dollars a square foot. Whole strain. You only have a couple more months. A for you land. You paid for it. You paid for it. And you can't build for the water. You can't build for the tree. You only can build a land. And we want to thank all the other people them who have come to join us in Willikis. We have our nice little Spanish community. We have our Caricom brothers and sisters. The lone wolf. I and the lone wolf is here tonight. Thank you for coming, sir. I'm not going into all that because the passport selling is tomorrow. Listen your radio, watch your TV. Your representative will be Monday dealing with that tomorrow and you'll hear more. God bless you. Thank you.